Hello, I don't know if this is going to help many people, but we're, I, I'm going to try and attempt, right, to show you how I have been I was scouring the net and, tr and putting bits and bobs together to work out how to actually do these raw files. I've got Photoshop open, I got his 360 Studio, I got little notepads where I put like really basic steps, as you can see, okay, of what I've been trying to get and I've been trying to use this the whole of yesterday. So, first up, I've got two files. You want to make sure you've got multiple. There's a reason for that to do with Insta360 Studio, which is a pain. Um, I can explain that now. So I open it up. As you can see, it's all sideways because of len uh, the horizon correction, which on the rules, you cannot use horizontal correction, which is a pain. So you select two. Uh, actually, make sure you stitch calibrate them first. So do your whole stitching calibration. Yeah, that one's done. I'll do it on this one as well. Make sure to save. Do it on this one as well. Stitch and calibration. Da, da, da. There we go. That one's done. Click back on the other one. Save. Right. The reason I got multiple is because if you select them, if you select more than one, you can batch export and it actually lets you select gyroscope stabilization, which does actually stabilize it. We're going to go new folder. Uh, what's this? This is the. This will make equal. Equal. Equal something trial trial pictures. I don't know. I don't know how to spell that. I never know how to spell that blasted word. I'm just gonna select that. I'm gonna click OK. Let it go through. Deling deling. Hopefully, there's one. There's two. Lovely. So <laughs> we can close those now and uh, bring up Photoshop and my files. There should be a new one. Here we go. Right. So now I've got these two files. I want this first one. Okay, so here's the image. Um, I found that uh, for a lot of the time for me, I can't be dealing with all this. I'll just go auto. You lot, probably more advanced, would like to go for it all. But the problem is we got all... Oh, flip. How the hell do I do this? Right, okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, space to move stuff. So I, I was going through each different thing to try to find answers. So in this then, you, as you can see, you got this horrible chromatic something abrasions, I think it's called. Yeah, abra abrasion. I'm going to go over to this uh, lens correction button, remove chromatic abrasion, and seriously, it does not do enough. Is a side by side, which I only just found out about this button yesterday as well. Uh, you can see that it's slightly reduced, not by much, okay? Uh, this is before this is after it's it's not done hasn't done much okay but if you go manual you can boost up these i think i had this on five yesterday and as you can see that's quite good isn't it and then the green one because you can see that on my halo top next to uh spartan lock i think i had this on like seven or something yeah about seven uh there are issues like my daughter's top here does sort of disappear slightly but I'm honestly not that bothered it comes through so then I open the image boom there's my 360 image uh, now to recenter okay I find there's a few things that help with this a uh, new guides layout if you go column to center columns clear existing guides whatever I don't know if you have existing guides but just just do that it gives me this nice center line and I and the problem with uh, this is that you can't just move it round. Well, you can, if obviously, if the background is off. But the problem with 360 is that you need it to be continuously round. What I found was something. Oh, I was in filter. Of, uh, hang on, let me just check. Uh, all the all the open view image. Yeah, offset. Right here we go. Offset. So I'm just looking at my instructions. And this offset is brilliant. So zero enter. So this is the default view. You'd be looking at these people over here. I don't want that. I want to be looking at my family when someone opens up the picture. So I will go into uh, obviously filter and offset and I will adjust this ever so slightly, whichever way is correct. It can get very jerky, unfortunately. A uh, bit back. Okay, that looks about center. I'm using the guideline as my center point. Uh, don't adjust vertical because that'll just mess with your uh, horizon and all this. Just do the horizontal. Works, works perfect. Okay, so now when someone opens up that image, that is the 
first that is the first the default view is there which is great it works out fantastic um, if that's all you want to do or you want to just do some adjustments you can if, if you're doing adjustments to the whole thing that's fine you can leave it there you can just file and save it and it would come out as a 360 photo still with all the info for Facebook I don't know why people are having problems but it still comes out to me as a 360 JPEG image it's still recognized now if you want to add stuff like text and other pictures um, I found somewhere else then so I had to go through so many different tutorials to find all these uh, random bits of information you want to go to 3D spherical panorama new panorama layer from selected layers and then yes 3D switch workspace now we have this and it's a camera right which is which is cool but you don't want to do anything do not do anything yet because everything here will be uh what do the guys say destructive you want to go back to spherical map down here double click that this is your normal image then i didn't even know what any of these buttons did i only realized yesterday um you go create a new layer I, i've always right clicked or gone up here and gone new layer so you know you learn stuff make sure that new layer is uh, selected that means that everything now that you're doing here will only be on that layer i mean it's not destructive to your image okay so let's say bah, 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 i turn this around and now on my uh, on my picture i had so let me bring this up i i made a quick logo for this mini golf we went mini golfing to some place called dragon's quest i made a little little picture which is nice yeah it's nice okay problem is that is stuck if i use my if i use my tools hang on background okay so i got these little things i don't i didn't use much but the problem is it's stuck to that like that so i'm i'm trying to have it so it's exactly like the opposite way around uh what i then uh, if i'm happy with that i can i can probably make adjustments to that i don't know if i can i can make adjustments to that. so if i if i want to make adjustments to that i can make adjustments to that or if i want to add text let's let's add some text um bah, 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 bah. Ooh, i'm rushing this because i want it to be short so people can actually you know watch and oh no i i forgot i want this i want this as a separate layer we'll add text in a bit so with that in place if i'm happy with that i am happy with that okay that'll be directly behind the person if they want to turn around and see it then you merge down when you merge down it disappears from this screen and now it's on this and look it's at the exact right point and it's on this layer if if i don't want it i can put it back okay what i can do let's make a new layer anyway and uh, i've got that layer selected what i'm going to do now uh, i can spin this it adjusts automatically don't even have to save yet but now that's stuck to that point let's put i don't know let's put something above our heads quickly oh, that'd be a bit of fun let's try that hello everybody ah crud um, <laughs> i i generally only use this for like short things let's put an arc why not um let's uh blah 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 this oh yeah thank you for that photoshop let's move this down hello everybody oh wow that text is not not mm. basically i'm just showing you sort of what i've found out i'm not this this is not gonna be very this isn't gonna be like amazing i'm just showing what i found out uh drop shadow yeah that, that, that'll do and then i can just merge that down as well no i can't because i have to rasterize it uh that one now i can merge down right you can right merge down go on Boop. okay and now that should be stuck let's check anyway let's see this should be stuck yeah it's stuck yay and i can go on here and there it is all lovely and it's all set okay so what you could do then is i think you could just save then uh yeah just do you can just add in whatever as long as you make a new layer and then do the adjustments on here and then it'll just it'll adjust it automatically on this which is amazing and then you just save it as a jpeg uh file uh save i don't know let's see if this works i, d I where's that saved <laughs> what's it done where's it save that now oh it's saved under my local i don't want that okay let's go to my 
<laughs> Let's go to this. Okay. Uh, so save as a JPEG. There we go. Okay. We'll, we'll get this eventually. Uh, new folder. Final export. There we go. Export. Layer. Blah, blah, 12. I, I'm leaving all that. I generally just whack it up to max. And that should now, if I go check. Uh, final export, layer one, and there it is. That's the picture. There is also another way. Um, when you have got something like this, or is it in this one? Let's check. No, it's not this one. When you are in this, you can also go uh, uh, 3D spherical, and you can export as a panorama, and it will export it as a panoramic image as well. I, I guess. I, I don't know the difference. Maybe this also double checks that it's putting the metadata in. Not sure. Um, do you know what? We'll, we'll save it anyway and see what happens. Uh, pano export port button. Button. I, I'm really rushing this. Uh, final export. Okay. Let's see. Um, I love, and then drag this into here. It's a nice image. Yeah, I am. Don't worry. Nice image. I think this one works. Just this is a pano. It's they're identical. They both get recognised. Bit of a stitch line there. But that works just like that, and it's kind of come out quite well actually. What happens if I go to natural view? Oh, yeah, natural view works as well, just as good. I'll check. Oh, yeah, natural view works. Uh, God, I've never tried it. Tiny planet, how does that work out? I think that works out quite well. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if I can sh show oh, that it is recognized. Facebook quickly, final export. Okay, so layer one is the standard one. As you can see, it's recognizing it straight up as a 360 image. And this is the this is layer one. This isn't even the pano picture. This is just where I saved it as a JPEG without having to go into the settings. So hopefully this helps everyone else. Come on, load already. There it is. Okay, so edit. Yeah, see? Worked out lovely. So hopefully this helps you guys. I'll see you later.